We just saw JC Sum and Magic Babe Ning vanish 5 people cage in a platform raised 24 feet in the air. Mega illusions such as this always spark the question of how did they do it? But in this case, it really should be a matter of where did they go? What's up guys, now I'm here with Magic Babe Ning and of course JC Sum. Congratulations on the whole event. Thank you very much. Thanks much. Hey Razor TV. Okay, my first question is obviously where did they go? You, we, can't, you can't tell, right? We aren't very sure. We were, we, were to, we were booked to make them vanish. Yep, and that's it. And that's it. That's where our job ends. Okay, what was the inspiration behind getting it? I know you work with the, with the museum here, but I mean, what was the inspiration? Well, the thing is, with this Mega Illusion, which is our 8 Mega Illusion, we wanted something really different. Uh, that's why it's done in the air, and also it's done for the people. So it's not JC and myself doing the typical magician doing something, or illusionist doing something, but it's the 5 people who are actually vanishing themselves. That's right, so and we wanted it in the air. Uh, we've never ever done an in the air mega illusion, and to bring up 24 feet in front of 1,000 people, that's pretty spectacular for us. Okay, what was the preparation going? I know you can't reveal uh, all your secrets, but what's the preparation like? How long did it take? Well, we actually took probably about six months to uh, conceptualize, design, and finally fabricate the cage as you see it. In our mega illusions, as you can imagine, you know, it's really very. Uh, no fancy props, nothing elaborate as you can see. We want to make it very clean cut. I mean, no funny dragon props. Yeah, so what you see is what you get. And, and uh, that's why, you know, it took a while to get it all set up nicely. And then uh, because this is for the Explore Singapore 2010 campaign, NHB, National Heritage Board, they actually uh, handpicked the five people who will be in the cage. And this was uh, through their website. If you were interested, they were saying, just go onto the website and key in your name and details and they'll call them. Well, and I think the thing is, we couldn't rehearse this. As with all our Mega Illusions, there are no rehearsals. There are, we've got technical run-throughs, which allows us, of course, to make sure we can elevate the cage, make sure the music is right, but we can't rehearse it with anyone. Okay, and I heard this is one of your, um, the biggest uh, event for, for this year. And how about next year? Any, any new events coming up next year? Well, we have a few surprises, but we always like to keep the mystery. We any might take a break. I think we've been working hard for the okay. past, what? three, four years yep. continuously, eight mega illusions in three years. I mean, we might take a short break. Well, uh, I, we do do a lot of gigs overseas, outside of Singapore as well. We travel a lot, so well, we'll just be in touch, don't worry. All right, thank you so much for joining me on the show, guys. All right. Congratulations, all the best. Thank you. 20 minutes after the show had ended and the duo had done their interviews, interested onlookers were still awaiting the reappearance of the five volunteers, and the magic duo were happy to oblige. Appearing from the cage, the five seemed in high spirits and not surprised that the event ended without their reappearance. We caught up with two of the volunteers to find out what exactly went down inside the cage. How did it feel going inside there? Uh, it's totally dark, darkness and uh, we don't know what's happening in the outside world. In Oswald, okay, so the time like sort of like stop. We just don't know what's happened. Don't, don't yeah, it's just know. total dark, unconscious. It's like, yeah. Take, take me through the whole thing. When you went inside there, um, you were asked to put like your, your, your hands on, on the person in the, in the middle of the shoulder. And then what? And then it went up. What's the feeling? Did you feel like uh, uh, scared or...? Uh, at first, uh, nervous. Nervous. Okay, that's the first time you're doing something like this. Yes, and total darkness made me scared. <laughs> and excited. Yeah. Feeling, was it stuffy inside there? Was it hot? Was it cool? Uh, no, just normal. Yeah. And darkness was what actually compelled you guys to actually sign up for something like this? Because uh, when I heard about it, I didn't even want to do it. So you guys are braver than me. So what compelled you to do it? Uh, well, actually, my wife signed up for me. <laughs> so I just Your wife wants to make you disappear. <laughs> well, I don't know. Is that okay? You've been chosen. Then. Okay. Then I come. My, my cousin signed me up for this. Yeah, uh, and just like you know, she was chosen. At any point, did you guys want to back out? Um, that's the minutes that we cannot do anything already. <laughs> um, since we are here, my as well, do it well. Thank you so much for your time, guys. Amazing. Brave men. We couldn't get much out of the magicians or the volunteers, but maybe the beauty of magic is not knowing the truth. 